Hello and welcome, this is Melskunner, and we're back with some more Xenonauts, and we're continuing on with a mission that we just started, which is against a downed landing craft. We see one enemy right here, we have done some damage to him, and I have more or less moved everybody this turn. The only thing I have left to do is just decide what I want to do with the scimitar tank. I have enough action points to move it out of the line of fire, and I think I'm going to do that. That does possibly uh, leave these guys as targets instead which i would not prefer but i'd not like to take damage on my tank if i can avoid it so i'm gonna go ahead and move away and we'll see what happens here all right we heard a shot but i couldn't tell you what that was aimed at could have been a civilian okay well i think at this point we're going to bring our tank back around see if we can find the aliens there is a civilian there, so I can be fairly certain what was uh, a shot was taken at. Fortunately for me. Oh, I knocked down a light. That doesn't really matter, though. Okay, uh, it's saying I see somebody. Let's see if we can figure out where they are. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot. These guys have jump packs. Um, so he can jump up on uh, rocks like that. Okay, well, with that being the case, can we see him with our sniper? I mean, technically, we don't have, we can't see him, but we can shoot him. Uh, we only need... All right, well, let's just... I might have to turn here, so I just want to... Yeah, I can take two normal shots. Let's take them. One. Okay, he's down. We already damaged him once, so I'm not too surprised that he went down there. Okay. Nice and easy there with our sniper taking the shot. All right, let's grab our... Our tank and continue to move here. So that's the only enemy we've seen so far. Now, so far we've seen these guys only be with the the Androns, the robotic opponents. Okay, th things are a little dense in here. I may be able to squeeze past the civilian here. Uh, I'd rather do that now, kind of block him away. Okay, we see where the UFO is. If I hadn't done that, it's possible the civilian would have walked in here and prevented me from moving in. Okay, so I may have to double back uh, with my tank and come back over this way, but for the time being, I'm going to leave this up to my shield to clear out. Okay, we see another one of these guys. Fortunately, my sniper doesn't have enough action points to really give me a shot. You can move one of the... Rifleman up. See if we can take shots from cover. Let's move you. Not you. You. Here. Gives me one normal shot in cover. It's not going to be a good shot, but it's better than nothing. Let's go for it. Okay, hit the rock in front of uh, here, unfortunately. Okay. Now uh, you. Well, we could put you in cover here. And you'd probably be able to get off a shot. It'd be a snapshot. I might just have you do an overwatch, though. Rather than... Okay. Yeah, I think my own guy's blocking the shot right now, so... Fortunately, my assaulters are not really in a great position here to help me out. Hmm, alright. Well, I think of what I'm going to do then. I'm going to send this assaulter. We put you... It's possible I'll be clear if I move here. The alien to get a shot would have to move out quite a bit, so go for it. Okay. My other assaulter I'm going to put up here. And we'll eventually go up to support the tank. 
I can bring my sniper maybe over here. Won't be able to take a knee though. Why don't we put you in the doorway here? You might be able to get a shot out it. Take a knee. Okay. Now what I could do is just go into cover, like here, and take a knee and wait because I don't think we're gonna get too much of an opportunity here. As a matter of fact, I can't even see him right now. All right. I think that's going to be it for the turn. We get into cover. We get our shield facing the right way. I think that's the right call. So, then the turn, see what happens. Now he's going to fly off that way. I'm not sure what he's up. Ah, the civilian managed to get around me anyway. So I might not be able to get my tank in here. Uh, I mean, if I run over a rock, I'll be able to get in. Oh, it doesn't even let me do that much. Yeah, I can't get in here. The civilian... Ah, I knew that was a possibility. But I, I unfortunately, I can't get in here at all. So that civilian... The civilians always do that crap to me, too. Okay, we might be able to see the enemy with our tank. Our tanks tend to have longer vision. All right, so far, nothing. Okay, now we see him. Is he in the air or is he on the ground? It's kind of hard to tell. Well, I'm going to move over to here. Alright, that was actually maybe not the smartest thing to do because of the potential of that reaction shot hitting me. Go ahead, take a knee. So we are in cover. The important thing is we've given our other guys vision. So my sniper should be able to take shots here. Uh, normal shot, I'll be able to get two of these off. 90% is pretty good. Let's go ahead and fire both. If the first one doesn't kill... There we go. Second one was likely to. Okay. Now, I can use my my buzzer jump uh, suit or pack to jump over these woods and things, but he would be unsupported, so I don't know if that's really a good idea. Go ahead and bring the one rifleman up here. And keeping an eye in this direction. And my assaulter is here. Okay, let's uh, let's peek peek around here. Not quite to the edge of the map. There's actually a decent distance off that way. Okay, so far so good. Let's move up this way. Oh, ah. All right. Well, we don't. We are not. We didn't take a knee there, so we will be a little bit easier of a target. That's unfortunate. We are behind cover if they come from this direction. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, we can jump over to the other side here if we want to. How about... I just move in behind this tree. I think he's going to fly there because that's the most direct path. Oh, we must see somebody. Where is it? Ah, okay, so this is not Andron's, so that confirms that it isn't necessarily the only situation you'll find the... I forget what they're called, Her Herodons or something like that? Alright, well, we don't really have a reaction shot here, but at least we have cover, we have an idea of where the alien's gonna be. Uh, I'm, I'm set, upset now that we don't have uh, that guy uh, down... Okay, so our other assaulter. Well, we'll get you in a position to help out, perhaps. So, move you to here. You get a snapshot. Okay. All right. Let's end the turn again. See what happens. Okay, so we saw the alien. But we don't see him anymore. I don't know who saw him. Um, so I'm not sure if he ran this way. Probably, because that's where we have vision. It's possible he ran over here, though. Alright, well, let's grab the tank. And that one civilian is going to be dead if <laughs> he doesn't watch out. He's, he's running around near the UFO. 
Okay, we almost have this area scouted out. Okay, most of the way. The tank could take care of this, so I think we redirect the shield. I could go up in the air just to try and scout this guy out. Let's do that. Okay, we see him now. Right there. Okay, that gives me the possibility of flanking him then. Um, maybe we would get in here though. Think we'd have an angle if I if I moved up like this. Find out. He's not looking at me, so I don't think he's gonna get a reaction shot. So I just need to come up close enough that I may be able to guarantee that he goes down. Or at least I suppress him. I mean, I'm only going to get one shot, so let's take a knee and then take it. Fortunately, he's not down. You get a reaction shot and hit me, unfortunately. Okay, but we can hit him with the other assaulter from the other angle. Um, all right, I'll take that. Be able to get in there, get a nice close range snapshot. Um, again, I might as well take a knee here. And down he goes. Okay, let's find our... Jetpack friend. Have him move over this way. I mean, honestly, I probably should be scouting with the jetpack more often. Um, go ahead and have him just land. And keep an eye on this direction. So we don't get flanked. Okay. So the shield. I think we we need to like double back this way. So move it like that, and then we'll we'll take a knee. As I said, the tank can take care of this area. And our sniper and our rifleman need to move. So I have the rifleman move to here. We'll cover this area. All right, we know what kind of threat we're going to have. So assaulting the UFO is going to be pretty dangerous, and that's mostly because the alien that we're encountering is very powerful in close range. As we saw there, uh, a shot from the laser carbine at close range on one of their, I believe that's a warrior, uh, because I think he had armor and things, uh, didn't take him down. So. It's going to be tough, and we also know that they regenerate, too, so... Definitely going to be a tough engagement. We've killed two of those... Again, I think it's a Herodin. Aliens, and then we have one civilian that we've killed. Okay, I don't think I can get in here. Oh, actually, no, I can. But I don't know what the point of that would be. Let's Let's move here instead. Yeah, so that, that uncovered all this area, and I'm starting to get to the point where, well, you know what? Let's go for it. Because I should be able to squeeze through here and then go that way. I mean, yeah. So, I guess it's worth it. Okay, so you took a hit. Let's go ahead and have you heal yourself. Okay. Carbine back over. And then I guess you just get in cover. And set up for the future. Okay. Shield. I say shield. Maybe we should have this guy scout again. So we'll have him jump up. And we'll have him start going. Uh, first, I'll stop behind this tree. Okay. Then we'll have him stop and cover here. Okay. So far, so good. I didn't mean to turn that far. All right. Back down. I, I lost the opportunity to take a uh, snapshot here. Uh, I don't know if I blew enough points, though, that it really made a difference. Okay. Grab our shield. 
It's possible all the rest of the aliens are inside the UFO, but I don't know that for sure. Let's just grab our shield and get it up there. Um, that's probably as good as we're going to get. And I'd like to be in cover if I can. E. I should be able to squeeze in, squeeze through here, and then go up in this very uh, big open area. I could check this area. I don't know if it'll let me run over these rocks, though. Okay, and our other assaulter might as well go this way. So... I'll move in here, and I'll take an E. I won't be looking in the right direction, but that's all right. Or at least in cover. Okay, the sniper and the rifleman. So, sniper, I'm going to put you right there. That way you should be able to cover this corridor. That guy's still sitting there next to the UFO. And... I can put the rifleman up here. Okay, so I'm probably going to keep these guys where they are until we have established that this area is clear. Um, but let's go ahead and end the turn. I mean, I'm hearing doors open and close. That civilian is really asking to be killed. All right, let's grab the tank first, so we know we can get through here. Move this way. I at least want to peek this way. It looks like I can run these rocks over. I might as well, just to be sure that there's nothing here. And then we'll come through here, we'll smash through what rocks are in the way, although I don't think we need to at this point. And we'll get through to the back end here. I almost want to wait for that, but uh, we'll go ahead and go back up in the air. So now I can land on these things. I never really uh, thought about that, but let's uh, start flying over this way. We can uncover a lot by doing that. Maybe I, I fly here and then just take a knee behind the cover. I mean, at least we've uncovered a lot of what's in front of the UFO. Okay, then we'll land. And look that way, and take an E. Shield, I'll have move up to here, and then we can take an E. It might not be facing the direction that a sh an attack may come from, but at least we'll be down on one knee. Okay. Let's start with this assaulter. We'll clear this area here. Okay, we've got this snow cat thing that we could hide behind if we want. Okay, there's a civilian. Let's go ahead and do that. Look that way. Okay. Rifleman, you can come up into better cover here. Look that way. E. Uh, I'm just going to keep a sniper where they are. So we only have really one person left that I want to move, and that's the assaulter that's here. Move you up into cover. E. And I do want to look this way, like that. Okay. So it is kind of looking that way, that they're, the only aliens are left are the ones inside the UFO. But go ahead and uh, end the turns and see what happens. Okay, so one did pop that door and did hit me there. Uh, that, that sucks, because that uh, person, I think, has already taken one hit. Fortunately, we weren't at an angle to get a reaction shot. Now, if I bring my rifleman over here, that might be enough, but unfortunately, the rifleman might take damage uh, that could kill him. Kill her, I should say. All right, well, I think this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.